Canadian-born Lang has long been a thorn in the side of country and Western purists. Her androgynous looks and ever-changing style has bought her loyalty from fans, but a snub by the country and Western radio stations. I certainly was accepted in, in the fact that Torch and Twang was the biggest selling female country record in the States at that time. But um, the fact that we never got airplay ever it, it is a paradox in itself, um, which in retrospect I'm very satisfied with because I, at, at the same time of being successful I managed to retain a very alternative edge, which is very difficult to do. Woo, woo. Oh boy, here's my game, B and O's my middle name. I'm gone with that whistle wails, and that's why I'm riding the rail. Country music is very, very conservative, and uh, a woman who comes along with a performance art background and uh, who spells her name in lowercase, K D Lang, uh, is not going to appeal greatly to country music purists. They like a much more straight ahead approach. That sort of twinkle in her eye, that sort of irony, all that cross-dressing, this is not going to appeal to Nashville establishment, and it didn't. Her new album, Ingenue, is a diversion from any of the Grammy Award winners' preceding work. Country music has taken a back seat. It is the, a transition period for me. It is a, a step forward, but um, I don't think it's that much of a difference for me because... Um, my early influences were people like Peggy Lee and Ella and, and classical and jazz. And country was this new found love that I had to, you know, completely immerse myself in. I think you can hear the, the debts to the singers of the 50s, the Peggy Lees and the Patsy Cline's in what she does. I think now, though, in this new record, Ingenue, you can hear her drawing much more widely on sort of world musical sources as well. There are a lot of different um, ethnic musics from around the world, very subtly blended in in the background of a lot of the tracks. Another new direction for the singer-songwriter was her acting debut in Percy Adlin's Salmonberries, where she plays an orphan who becomes obsessed with a German widow. Look around yourself, it's gone. The tower and the wires and the mines, the wall, it's gone. She's, you know, she's been very widely um, praised by Madonna in the States. And I think her attitude to, to films is probably not dissimilar to Madonna's. It's a useful line, to, it's, a, it's a useful sideline to have on the go. I don't think she probably has any plans to become a movie star. <laughs> So while films and other musical styles may preoccupy more of her time, where does country music now stand for KD? I want people to know that country music's a big part of my, my musical makeup, but it's not the only thing I'm interested in. Go!